What's up guys, Swift here covering everything all off season long with daily Chicago Bears videos and updates. This weekend is our last chance to soak up four games of football for a long time. I'll be enjoying football this weekend. I made a video last week about some free agents to watch in the playoffs, but I left out the Chiefs and Eagles because neither played last week. This week, both teams play and have some very interesting potential free agents. First up, I want to talk about the Chiefs' Orlando Brown. He is quite simply the biggest enigma potentially in this free agent class. A year ago, I thought he had zero chance to hit the market. The Chiefs offered him a contract that would make him the highest paid tackle in NFL history, and it seemed like only a matter of time until they reached an agreement. However, I don't know if that's still the case. He had some issues transitioning from a run-heavy Ravens attack playing right tackle, coming over to the Chiefs and playing left tackle in a pass-happy scheme. But most people expected him to return to his dominant form this season, but that didn't really happen. He has played much better down the stretch, but he hasn't looked like the same guy, and he's apparently unhappy with the Chiefs' front office. He turned down a six-year, $139 million deal, so it's going to require a ton of cash if you want Orlando Brown. And his play in the playoffs are going to go a long way towards determining how much money he gets and whether or not the Chiefs slap the franchise tag on him this offseason. Either way, he has the potential to be one of the best left tackles in the league or best right tackle in the league like he was for Baltimore. Ryan Poles was in the Chiefs front office when they traded for Orlando Brown, so if he does hit free agency, watch out. Also on the Chiefs is wideout Juju Smith-Schuster, run-stuffing D-tackle Derek Nottie, and veteran defensive end Carlos Dunlap. All these guys are upcoming free agents, and the Chiefs are not a team with a ton of salary cap flexibility after paying Mahomes $450 million. Meanwhile, the Philadelphia Eagles are probably the most intriguing team left when it comes to free agency. The Chiefs are where Ryan Poles came from, and the Eagles are where Ian Cunningham came from, and feature a ton of potential free agents. Our GM and assistant GM's familiarity with these two franchises could pay dividends. First up for the Eagles is defensive tackle Javon Hargrave, who's been one of the best interior defenders in the NFL this year. I spoke about him in my defensive tackle video. Then you have starting corner James Bradbury, starting guard Isaac Samalo, two very intriguing linebacker options, Kazir White and TJ Edwards. I wouldn't mind either one of those guys in a Bears uniform. We definitely could use an upgrade at one linebacker spot at least. And then what about a former first round pick at left tackle who's also going to be a free agent? Eagles offer that too and Andre Dillard. They also have two running backs hitting free agency in Miles Sanders and Boston Scott, plus two veteran edge rushers in Brandon Graham and Robert Quinn. Both had prolific careers but are both over the age of 33. You guys should be pretty familiar with Robert Quinn. If you missed my video on last week's playoff free agents, I'll mention a couple of the other guys to keep an eye on. Running backs Tony Pollard and Saquon Barkley are both entering free agency. 49ers right tackle Mike McGlinchey, definitely watch him. And Bills linebacker Tremaine Edmonds are a few of my favorite free agent targets still playing. I'm excited to watch some football today. We have four NFL playoff games in the next 48 hours and then only three games for the next eight plus months, so enjoy it while we still have it. I apologize if some of my recent videos lack much graphics. I have five plus big videos in the works that should be coming in the next week or two. We are rapidly approaching the Senior Bowl, and I'll be kicking off my Senior Bowl and Shrine Bowl coverage soon, and continued free agency rankings. Stay tuned, hit the like button for me, and until next time, Bear down.